with this uh, DNS leak test we're going to do right now, uh, you can go to dnsleaktest.com and we're going to do the standard test. You can see the IP address is the one that was changed and masked. That is not my actual IP address. Um, it shows you the United States. So now we're going to do the test. <clears throat> the test is complete. And as you can see, the host name is ipvanish.com. It's got the IP address that's been changed. Country is United States. So uh, if we scroll down, you can see if you are connected to a VPN service and any of the servers listed above are not provided by the VPN service, then you have a DNS leak and are choosing to trust the owners of the above servers with your private data. So as you can see, the host name says IP vanish. So therefore, I do not have a DNS leak. That means I am fully protected, uh, secure, and it's just good to do that. So let's do an extended test just to further uh, show you guys that IP vanish does work and it's legit. Again, you can see hostname ipvanish.com. The IP address has changed, United States. So there is no DNS leak coming from IP vanish, which is a big plus in choosing what paid VPN service you uh, choose to go for. So I just wanted to show you guys that test real quick just to show you that you really are secure when using IP vanish. So I'm going to show you two tests done by two of the top free VPN uh, applications that are out there. The first one is called BetterNet. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's a popular free VPN. Show you guys that I am connected to it. And uh, now we're going to begin the test. Switch over to the speed test app. And it's going to do the ping. We're going to begin the test right now. It's going to do the ping. And then it's going to show the download speed and the upload speed. And I'm going to show you guys why it's shit to use free VPNs. The download speeds just do not compare to any paid VPN out there. Um, I normally get 47 megabytes per second without a VPN. And as you can see with BetterNet, the free one, I'm getting around 23, 23, 24. Looks like about 23. So yeah, 23.69 is my download speed with the free one. And my upload speed looks like it's going to be around 11.2, which my upload speed I've noticed doesn't really change. Uh, it stays around 11 or 12. I'm more worried about the download speed. So that's why I don't recommend free VPNs. It pretty much cut my speed in half. And now I'm going to show you another popular free VPN, which is Hot Shield or Hotspot Shield. Show you guys that I am connected to this one. And we're going to switch over to the speed test. I'm going to run through the test again. It's going to do the ping, download, and then upload. So let's begin the test right now. Give it a moment to prepare. And here we go. It's testing ping. So that's done. Now we're going to do download speed. And as you can see, this one's even worse than BetterNet. It looks like it's giving me around 10 to 11 megabytes per second. Uh, let's see. Yep. So with Hotspot Shield, the free one, I'm getting 11.33. Keep in mind, without a VPN, my normal speed is around 47. So that is a huge, huge difference, you guys, when it comes to streaming. And this is one of the main reasons why I say stay away from free VPNs and I don't recommend them. So down at the bottom, 47 is what I get with no VPN. 45.57 is with IP Vanish, the paid one. 23.69 is with BetterNet, the free one. And 11.33 is with Hotspot Shield, the other popular free one. So you can see a very big difference uh, in download speed when it comes to free versus paid, which is why I always recommend, obviously, a paid service over a free one. And there's more reasons, too, why I don't recommend, um, you know, free VPNs. I just don't trust them. I don't believe in them. Uh, they're shit. The download speeds suck. They'll tell you they don't keep logs, but I really don't trust that. Because, again, when it comes to free stuff like that, somebody's paying somewhere. You're paying with your information being tracked and sold to third-party advertisers. Um, so now I'm going to show you the download speed that I get without a VPN. 
and what I get with IP vanish just so you guys can see the difference so we're about to begin the test this is with no VPN just my regular download speed from my internet service provider uh, let it prepare it's gonna do the ping again download and upload so here we go this is with a paid VPN this is my download speed it looks like it's gonna be around or excuse me this is with no VPN uh, so this is just regular speed for me which looks like 47.74 uh, which is good. It's recommended to have at least 25 if you would like to stream anything and you know not have too much buffering and stuff. So with no VPN, 47.74 download speed. And now I'm connected to IP Vanish just to show you guys. That's my new IP address. And we're gonna switch back to speed test and begin the test with IP Vanish, the paid one. So let it prepare again give it a moment it's gonna test the ping and now with IP vanish the paid service I'm gonna looks like it I'm gonna be getting around 40 41 so it looks like with IP vanish the paid service I get around 45.57 megabytes per second download speed which that's incredible you guys remember without a VPN I get around 47 so with a paid VPN IP vanish it only cuts my download speed down by pretty much two megabytes per second compared to those free ones that's insane that's incredible that's one of the main reasons also why I recommend IP vanish and why I've been with them for so long to only have it cut down by two megabytes and it could change with different servers you know at most it may go down by 10 but even so that's plenty enough for me so 45 megabytes per second is plenty enough download speed for me to do the streaming that I do on uh, Kodi and stuff like that Mobdro and other apps like that so another plus for me with paid VPNs over free is the download speed uh, if you have like 10 or, or 10 to 20 to start off with and you use one of the free ones it's gonna cut it in half as you can see in these speed tests so you're gonna be dropped down to maybe one uh, or nothing I mean it's just not worth it it's shit you're not gonna be able to stream anything with that with the free one so I always recommend to go paid you guys it's just it, it for me personally it's better to know that I'm secure I'm protected I get decent download speed still because uh, being cut in half uh, that's a pretty big difference compared to only being cut down by about two megabytes per second with a paid VPN compared to being cut in half and with hotspot shield as you've seen it put me at what like 10 or 11 from 47 that's a huge huge difference for me anyways and when it comes to streaming so it's just it's really important you guys there's gonna be I know there's other youtubers that tell you you don't need a VPN uh, I do it it's fine I haven't been caught yet or whatever and that's fine you know you they have their they're entitled to their opinion if you want to believe them go ahead but people ask me all the time should I use a VPN with Cody and my answer is always gonna be yes I just I always recommend to use a VPN not just so uh, you can like stream geoblock content but so your ISP can't track you can't track your activity they can uh, throttle your speed and slow you down uh, you're not gonna take the chance of getting emails sent to you and just for the simple fact of having the security for when you do online banking your credit card numbers uh, social media accounts don't get hacked your email doesn't get hacked and uh, just knowing you have the security that's pretty much the main reason why I personally always use a VPN when I'm online and I especially always use a VPN before I launch Cody from day one I'm always on a VPN no matter what that is just my personal preference and I'm gonna give it to you guys straight I'm gonna be honest that's why I made this video because I get this question asked all the time should I use a VPN with Cody coming from me 
Yes, I don't know why anybody wouldn't use a VPN if you're going to be on Kodi and streaming or streaming on Modro or other applications like that. To me, it's just better to know you're anonymous, you're private, you can't be tracked, you can't be hacked. Um, and there's just so many more reasons of why you should use a VPN. I encourage you all to do your own research, though. Don't just take my word for it. Uh, go to the IP Vanish website and read their privacy policy if you want to check out other ones but me personally I've been using IP vanish way before I started using Cody and uh, now it just gives me added benefit and security for when I do use Cody I make sure I'm always connected to a VPN no matter what I do again my personal preference I just wanted to share it with you guys to hopefully give you a better judgment on what you should do and I encourage you guys to check into the thing on Torrent Freaks website on what's going down in the UK with them starting to issue those warning emails to users that IPs are being tracked uh, for streaming and downloading and torrenting. So it's not going to be long before that's in the US, you guys. It's going to be coming next. I can promise you that. So it's very important that you use a VPN and you want to use a paid one. I would just avoid uh free vpns at all costs again my own personal preference but i'm going to give it to you guys straight and honest and that's what i believe paid vpns are not much uh there's different ones there's other popular ones that are paid express vpn is twelve dollars and 95 cents per month private internet access is another popular paid one which is six dollars and 95 cents per month and then ip vanish is seven dollars per month if you use the coupon code in the description, it is not my coupon code. It is the one IP Vanish is offering at the moment. You can get 30% off your order. Um, so it brings it down to $7 for your first month. Uh, again, that is not my coupon code. It's the one IP Vanish is offering. So I do not know how long that's going to last. But for right now, if you use that coupon code in the description, you will get 30% off your first month and I do encourage people if you're gonna use a paid VPN to try out one month first just to see if you like it to see if it works that way if it doesn't work you're only losing out on seven dollars compared to if you paid for a whole year I think it's like 54 and if you do three months I believe it's around twenty dollars so and also with IP vanish say you try it you don't like it, it doesn't work you have up to seven days to get a full refund. So just make sure you cancel your uh, account within seven days and then you'll get a full refund and you won't be charged uh, for the service. But I do encourage you, if you do go the uh, paid VPN route to at least try one month, that way you can test it out and see if it works, see if you like it and you're not gonna lose out on money in case you don't and you don't hit that weak window. Just please remember, you do have seven days to cancel if it doesn't work or you don't like it. Please, guys, I really encourage you to do your own research. Read up on what's going on in the UK because it's not going to be long before it's here in the US. And I would hate to see any one of you get that email or anything else happen, um, you know, for not having a VPN and having your IP address mask and to stay private and anonymous and just so I don't want to see any of you guys get hacked either. I mean, a lot of people have the mindset of, well, it hasn't happened to me. It's never going to happen. Well, don't have that mindset because that's when it is going to happen to you. And I can promise you when you get hacked or have your bank info stolen, your credit cards, it's going to be hell. And you guys are going to wish you had some form of security. So please just do your own research, you guys. Look into it. I highly encourage you to get a VPN. For those of you that keep asking, should I use a VPN, my answer is always going to be yes. I don't know why you wouldn't use a VPN, but again, that is just me. Uh, I never will recommend a free one, so please do not ask me what the best free one is. I don't recommend them, especially when it comes to VPNs. So I hope this video doesn't seem like I'm selling out because I'm really not. I wouldn't bring you guys a paid service or a paid add-on. If I didn't believe in it or I didn't personally use it myself, an IP vanish is something I do believe in. 
and I've been using it for a very long time, way before I even started using Cody. So hopefully this video helped you guys. Please do your own research and look into all this. Look into possibly getting a VPN. Um, if you want to go the IP vanish route like the one I'm using, the coupon code will be in the description. Uh, you can get 30% off your first month. Again, that's coming from IP Vanish, so I do not know how long that coupon code is going to last, but for right now it does. So check into it, you guys. Stay informed on what's going on with streaming and the laws and all of that. Keep it yourself updated on what's going on in the UK with those warning emails, and just stay protected, you guys. You never know what's going to happen when you're online. Anything is possible, and it's better to be safe than sorry. So Hopefully this video helped you guys. Thank you so much if you stay till the end. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to each and every one of you like I always do. And thank you guys so much for the support. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. See ya!